All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to try a different style. As you can see, his hair has grown kind of out of control. So we're going to try to pull off like a slick back with a skin fade. It's not going to be easy. Uh, this is one of the most challenging hairs to kind of fade. It's very fine and uh, kind of straight. We're going to be using these Zuka combs. Uh, shout out to Philip Wolf for giving me these. There we go. That's the Zuka neck guard. All you do is you wash this with some antibacterial soap in between customers and you put it on his neck. It sticks to itself and no hair will get underneath this cape. So he's totally protected. All right, it's pretty clear he's gonna need some product to make this go back. So we're gonna see if it's even gonna, you know, kinda do what we want it to do. Like I wanna get it as close to being able to do what I want it to do without any product. Eddie from the YouTube Barber Academy. We got over 300 videos to help you learn. And today I wanna to invite you to Fort Worth, Texas for Fort Worth Barber Supply. We're gonna be teaching a hands-on class, clipper over comb. Anybody who's been in any of my class knows that I'm very thorough, um, right to the point. You guys are gonna learn how to cut hair faster and make more money. So don't miss this event on September 11th. And it's also gonna coincide with the release of two heavyweights, the Rebel and the Saber, both from Stylecraft. And we're also gonna give away a $200 prize for the best flat top. And I really hope you guys come down here to chop it up with me. All right, man, I'll see you there. All right, so I got a number four on here. I'm not really sure what it's gonna look like underneath, like when you're making a big transformation. So I'm gonna start with a, like a much longer guard and we're gonna remove this ball. Just Right, I'm gonna take this clipper comb. I'm gonna try to connect it into the top. The clippers I'm using today, uh, this is the Apex. It has a taper blade on it, makes it very forgiving, but the Apex shares the same motor as the Rebel. And it's just a wonderful machine. It just has a little bit more power than the Saber. So. And uh, now I'm gonna try to put my skin line in a little bit lower here. So I'm just gonna do it with the taper blade again. This hair is very fine. It can cause a lot of trouble when I try to fade it. So I'm gonna put the skin line in with the taper blade and that's gonna cause a nice soft line. It'll be a little bit easier to get out. If you notice, I have a smaller blade on this. This is a blade that resembles the slimline blade, and it's sort of like Gamma's take on a slimline blade, and it's just a lot of fun to use. It really gets into some of these tight areas, and it just makes it makes it easier to do certain people's edge ups. Like, if they ain't got no uh, vertical bars, you know, putting that big one there, you can't just put it down. This one, you can sort of put it down anywhere. So it's, it's a really a fun blade to use, and it cuts great. all we got the rebel electric shaver uh, when you're ready to use this process you should just make sure that your guideline is in the right place you got them down to five zeros down here and then this machine is not gonna have a whole lot of work to do so we're gonna fire this up we're gonna knock out all that hair and when we get close to where we ended with our trimmer we're releasing our pressure and we're flicking out Okay guys, we're gonna begin the blend. Again, with the taper blade, I put it in the fully open position and uh, we're gonna scoop out, we're gonna make a guideline about the width of our finger. Okay, being that this is a low fade and I'm trying to keep the fade a little bit lower, I gave myself the room that I need to get out the difficult part of the blend, but I need to try to get rid of this area. So I'm gonna put the number two on and I'm gonna open it two clicks and I'm gonna start to scoop out. I don't know what this is gonna look like, that's why I'm jumping to number two. Normally we would do this with a one with the two click and flip. So let's make it happen.
Yeah, that's often did a lot. And uh, that tells me that that was the right decision to pick up that, that number two. I could have even picked up a number three, uh, something like that. Okay, I got this in the closed position. We're gonna start working on our, our bottom line here and we're gonna blend that into the top. So I have this fully closed and I'm gonna begin kind of flicking up and into the blend. I'm gonna open this up a little bit at a time until I reach back to my open taper length. So flick it open. Let it cut some hair. Click it open. Keep going until you have it fully open. You see how that's really softened that up? Um, now this is a taper blade. It might not get out that line, which is why we have our Rebel, we have our Fade Blade just for that purpose. But we wanna just soften this line and uh, that's, that's part of just making it blend, making that blend blurry little by little using a tool that's not gonna create difficulty for you. All right, y'all, we're gonna hit that next line. We're gonna do it with a number one, two clicks. And uh, I really don't wanna go too high here. I just wanna kinda flick into this and see what it does. So let's get it. All right, so I opened and closed that number one a little bit. I got that pretty soft. So now I got the half in, in the, um, I'm gonna go two clicks, one, two. And uh, like I said, this, this two click and flick, this is how you start out, but as you need to, you open it. If you need to close it, you close it. This is like my favorite part of the blend, like when you start to see it really come together and you're like, oh yeah, this is gonna look like fire. All right, as you guys can see, the blend's starting to come together. We're gonna do some shear over comb, but before we do that, um, it's time to kind of make sure that the blend between the 5.0 uh, and the open taper. So we're, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the fusion blade, we're gonna put this fusion blade on here. I have it in the closed position. to go back in with the taper blade. It's very soft, it's very forgiving. And uh, that's why these two blades are so important, man. You know, each each one kind of balances the other one out. You know, when I don't want to create mistakes, like when I want to go into areas that maybe I will create a mistake, that's where I want the taper blade. So I'm gonna do a little shear over comb. My shears are from Shear Police. Shout out to them, use the code Eddie save 10%. And, um, they're a great company, man, and they helped get the Barber Tuition Initiative, the first video off the ground. They gave every student a pair of shears, so that was pretty great of them. So I'm gonna begin coming in here. I'm just lifting and cutting. And uh, you know, I do a really detailed, in-depth lesson on shear over comb on my channel. If you guys wanna check it, I'll link it in the description, and I'm gonna put it right here for y'all. Now, some people might wonder why I'm not using thinning shears. Um, you know, thinning shears, they have their time and they have their place, but I always try to do as much as I can with regular shears first, um, especially on certain hair types. Like if his hair was curly, I'd probably be picking up the thinning shears more. Um, but sometimes that can create a real mess too, and you can't get that hair back. So we're gonna put a nice little edge up on him. I'm not digging too deep into his hairline, but I wanna make it show just a little bit. Look at that thing, bro, it's like a laser. If you guys wanna buy this trimmer, use the code Eddie, save 10% off. I know initially my code uh, was acting up, it wasn't working, but uh, hopefully we got that resolved so you guys can go ahead and, and save some money with that. A little bit of Tomb 45, and we'll just go ahead and take the tip of the razor and we'll follow uh, the arch that we created. I want this to slick back and down. I want it to look good.
I just got the Tune 45. This is the black brown, so it's a little lighter color. Our Tune 45 pencils. 